Jesus. ability to bind and loose. Come on, church. Some of us need to bind up that attack that is against us and loose the power of God that is for us. Oh, we have the power. The Lord said to Peter, I'll give you the kingdoms of, the, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom and what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Glory, what you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to lose some miracle power in the house. I want to lose some breakthrough in the house. I want to lose some healing in the house. I want to bind up the workings of hell and loose the powers of God in this house today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's what you bind and it's what you loose. Come on, church. That's going to take some faith. Good thing you're in a faith house. Good thing you're in the presence of God. Good thing you're in the atmosphere of God's blessings today. Lord God, we come before you in the name of Jesus, and we thank you, Lord, that you've given us keys to the kingdom, that we can operate as citizens of the kingdom, sons of the Most High, join heirs with Jesus Christ. And we've come to loose the power of God in our lives. We come to bind up the devil that is against us, and loose your healing power, loose your miracle power, loose your glory in the house. Come on, church. Oh, hallelujah. to see the healing power of God. We've come to experience the glory of God. We've come to have a breakthrough with God. We've come to feel the presence of God. We've come to be right before you, Lord, and have you manifest your power in our lives. In Jesus' holy name. Everybody lift your hands with me right now. Lord, we welcome you into this house. We thank you that you are with us, among us. We thank you, Lord, that your anointing is upon us. And as we praise you and as we worship you today, Lord, we do it with sincere hearts. We declare, Lord, that your goodness, your glory, your wonderfulness is our joy. We love to praise you. We love to worship you. Let's just thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your anointings in Jesus' holy name. And we say amen and amen.
I'm caught up in this holy moment. I never want to leave. Oh, I'm not here for blessings. Jesus, you Can we sing that out? I'm caught up. I'm caught up in your presence. I just want to sit. I just want to sit here at your feet. I'm caught up. I'm caught up in this holy moment. Oh, I never want to leave.
I'm caught up in this holy moment. Oh, I never want to leave. No, I never want to leave. I'm not here for a blessing. I'm not here for a blessing. Jesus, you don't know me anything. Jesus, you don't know me. 
Pastor James is going to come, but you should have uh, your elements there. If anybody is missing elements, just lift up your hand and our ushers will get it right to you. Amen. Praise Believe for your healing when you take communion. Amen. Deb, go ahead and pray over us that divine miracles of healing would happen right now. Not just in this house, yes. but those who are watching online and those who are on our prayer list. Divine miracles of healing. Hallelujah. Father, you said in your word you. that you healed us from yes. all diseases. Yes. You yes. said in your word that by the stripes of Jesus, yes. we are healed. Yes. So we will not allow oh, sickness yes. to stay in That's our right. bodies. That's right. We speak to our bodies, and That's these right. bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. And the Holy Spirit oh, yes. dwells within us. Thank and you, the Lord. blood of Jesus, you, it covers us Thank in you, Jesus' Lord. name. Hallelujah. So right now, I speak to cancer yes. in Jesus' name, and I say, you are a filthy That's thief. Right. That's You're right. a filthy liar. Yep. You're a trespasser. Trespass. And you have no right, yes. no right, no right, no right to on. be in the body of believers. Yes. Amen. Oh, so we yeah. come against yeah. that yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We speak to bones and we oh, declare that God bones are strong God. and they're God. knit together. They're whole Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I speak to hearing and I say yes. no hearing loss in yes. Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Let there be hearing. Yes. Yes. Clear, clear yes. hearing in yes. the name of yes. Jesus. So as we often say from the top oh, of our head to the yeah, soles yeah, of our feet, yeah, we declare yes. that healing yes. belongs to us. Thank and you, in this Thank house, you, from the left Thank all the you, way over, the healing you, anointing, it flows. Thank you, Come on, claim it for oh, your room. Na, 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 claim na, na, it for na, your room oh, where yes. you're sitting. Claim it. Thank you, healing Lord. is Thank flowing you. in this house in the name of Jesus. And we will be sure to give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Thank you, sweetie. There's several folks in our faith family that are waiting for test results to come back. And uh, I'm just going to pray right now that 
regardless of what the prognosis is, regardless of what the doctors have said, I know what the Word of God says. By His stripes we are healed. And I'm going to pray that those tests come back and glorify God, that they come back and confirm what we've prayed right now, total and complete healing in the name of Jesus Christ. And then I'm going to pray because some folks have gone through a procedure and they're in the healing process. You know, you can have supernatural rapid recovery in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that they were healed as they went. And I believe that there can be a supernatural rapid recovery in your body. Father God, we pray for those who have had testing in this last week or so. And we pray, Lord God, that as we're waiting for those test results to come in, they will come in as a praise report. They will come in and testify of the healing power of God. We thank you for that. For by your stripes, Lord, we are healed. So we thank you, Father God, that the biopsy comes back that has no signs of cancer. We thank you, Lord, that the CAT scan comes back, no signs of problems, Lord, that it is all clear and well and healthy and good in the name of Jesus. And I pray for my brothers and sisters that are in the recovery mode right now. We just declare supernatural, rapid recovery in the name of Jesus. Whatever needs to be mended, knit together, whatever needs to happen, Lord, let it happen now, supernaturally, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' holy name. And everybody said amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The Apostle Paul, in writing to the church at Corinth, said, For I have received of the Lord that which I have also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, in the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you do shew the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we should judge ourselves, we should not be judged. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. What a great revelation this is. You should be a born again believer before you partake of the elements of communion. And I'm going to give everybody an opportunity right now. If you have never received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, it is easy for the sincere heart. The Apostle Paul says, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. All who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So I'm going to pray the prayer of salvation right now, and I want everybody to pray it out loud. You may already be a born-again believer, but your voice will give courage to the person next to you that may not be a born-again believer. And so let's all pray this together in unison. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I confess there has been sin in my life. Forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I believe Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe he is the resurrected Lord, enthroned in heaven forevermore. Right now, I receive Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. And we say amen. And amen. Paul says, let a man examine himself and then let him eat that bread and drink that cup. We're going to let the Holy Spirit examine every nook and cranny of our heart. Is there anything in our life that we know is not pleasing to God? 
Maybe it's a thought, an action, a deed, a passion, something that just isn't lining up with the Word of God. Well, the Holy Spirit wants to help us right now. We're overcomers, aren't we? We're more than conquerors, aren't we? We're victorious in Christ Jesus. And He wants to help us right now, make sure that we get the train on the track and that we're living right before the Lord. So, let's let the Holy Spirit look into our heart. Heavenly Father, we just ask that the, the help of the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. Jesus, you said that he would. We thank you for that. And so if there's anything in our life that isn't lining up with you, we ask, Father, for supernatural strength right now to overcome the workings of the flesh and get hold of the power of the Spirit so that we walk in victory in every area of our life, in our thought life, our passion life, the actions of our lives, Lord. They all line up with the Word of God. In Jesus' name, and we say amen and amen. Thank you for that, Lord. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Everybody has the elements of communion. Right now, you can open up that little top portion and get out the wafer. Amen. If you got the wafer out, if you crack the code and actually were able to open it, <laughs> You got to listen for the tumblers to click. Go ahead and hold the wafer up if you would so I can see that you got it. Good. This is a sign and symbol of the body of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that in his body he bore our sins and by his stripes we are healed. Amen. Aren't you thankful for the sinner's substitute? Yes. Because we were sinners, we have a substitute, thank God, who stood in our stead. We do not have to endure the judgment of our sins. We are delivered. We're cleansed. We're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, we are. Let's give him thanks for the body. Father God, we thank you for the body of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the sinner's substitute. We thank you for the cross, Lord, for by the blood of the cross, we are cleansed. We thank you with all our heart that Jesus stood in our stead. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen. You may partake. Go ahead and hold up the cup of blessing. This is a sign and symbol of the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us there is no other agent in the universe that can cleanse a man of his sins, only the blood of Jesus. Jesus said that the new covenant was written in his blood. That means every promise of God is yea and amen in Christ Jesus. Signed, sealed, delivered through the blood of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for the blood. We thank you that the blood is perpetually applied to our lives. We thank you that we are cleansed. We are free from all condemnation. In Jesus' holy name we pray and we say amen. You may partake. In just a moment, an usher will come by, pass up receptacle. You can drop your cup down into the receptacle. Once you have, stand with us as the worship team leads us. There is a name
single seat is going to be filled. Amen? We declare that. It is getting amazing every week. To God be the glory. You know, in this last year, I pray that the Lord has made us more hungry for the presence and the house of God than ever before. You know, I'm so thankful we can watch it online, but it is totally different in the house, isn't it? I mean, it's awesome online, but man, just to see your faces, that's what makes it so special, to see each one of your faces. We sure do love you. And if anyone is with us for the first time today, can I just see your hand? We're so happy you're here. Anybody? Welcome. Anybody? Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to tell you, we are so glad that you have chosen GVC to worship in today. Amen. It is good. And if you are new, at the back table, there is a surf bottle filled with a lot of goodies and a book that says God loves you. And someone will be back there to get it to you. Or if you haven't been here in a long time. Come on. Now, I just got to say this, okay? <laughs> All right. This is one of the loves of my heart, Mr. Beerfield. I am so happy you are here. It's his second week, and it's been a long time. He's had surgery, and he's been in rehab, and you name it. And, and Kathleen is at home, and so we just speak health and healing over Kathleen. Amen. And then also, it, it, it is thrilling to see Diane Cairo. Hallelujah. Yay. She has been walking through the journey of faith and declaring healing over her body. And I told her today, you look better than when you left. You look amazing, girl. I think somebody gave her 10, 15 years back. She looks amazing. But to all of the GVC family, all of you, we love you and we are so glad you were with us today. Amen. 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 You are always prayed for. Amen. You're in a church that always prays for you. And so we love you and we celebrate you today. Well, last Wednesday was our first midweek service. Woo! Yay. And I preached. All right. And so if you missed it, go online and watch it. I even watched it. <laughs> and when I can watch it, you know, God is good. God showed up. It is hard to watch yourself. If you've ever done a song, you sing a song, or the worship team, I'll tell the worship team, go on and watch. Go on and watch. Because sometimes we forget our facial expressions. We're lost in the glory, and they can think we're as mad as can be up here. But, you know, facial expressions means a lot. But uh, I went on and watched it. I loved the worship. I loved the preaching. And I preached the most awesome message ever preached in all the world. Woo. <laughs> if you don't plug yourself, who is? Come on. Well, Jamie would. No, but I preached on the power of our will. Yes. 
And it is, and I, I just want to talk about renewing the mind for a little bit, getting our, our mind to another level, get our, getting our expectation to another level. And so uh, if you can be with us on Wednesdays, we encourage everybody. Um, and listen, next Sunday is daylight savings time. Mm -hmm. And so that means we turn our clocks ahead one hour. What do we do? We turn it ahead one hour. Amen? Amen. So that Saturday night, you do that on Saturday night. And the beauty of that is on Wednesday, some people don't like to drive in the dark. So that is coming to an end. And so all of you people that don't like driving in the dark, and I'm one of them, uh, just go ahead and start coming. Amen? Because it's going to be good. The Lord is good. And I'm excited to say Truth Seekers has begun. Yes. Yay. I heard there was an amazing crowd at Truth Seekers. Yes, the room was full. And so I just encourage you come and join Elder Tom Julian. He's talking, uh, teaching out the book of Revelations. And if you are available, come and then just stay for noon prayer. He leads our noon prayer or some of the others as well may jump in and help. But uh, Thursday at noon, there's prayer. So Come to Truth Seekers and then to prayer. Amen. Amen. And then Tuesday night, say this Tuesday. This Tuesday. It's Carla's cooking class. Woo! Yay! And you see that cake? She's going to teach you how to make it. And so I am absolutely confident that when you walk out on Tuesday night, you can make it. Woo! And you can bring one to Jamie. <laughs> Amen. Come on. Showing just how good you are. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. And then I am really excited about our teen conference that's coming up. Yay. Yes. They are going to uh, Alabama in July 22nd through the 24th. And this conference is with Karen Wheaton Ministries, and if anybody knows anything about Karen Wheaton, she knows how to get into the presence of the Lord. Yeah, She'll let you have some fun, but you're going to have a Holy Ghost experience. And so we want to send our youth off. Amen. They will be up there so that we need a bus, we need hotel, food, you just name it. I want to make sure that any youth, any teen that wants to go, they can go. Amen. And I promise you, they are going. Yes. They like are that. going. They, go. they are oh. going. Amen. Yes. Come on. Let's yes. declare it. They are going. This house will help make sure and you will help make sure that they go. But their very first fun fundraiser is next Sunday. Now you cannot miss it even though it's daylight savings time. You hear me? <laughs> if you miss it, just come in whenever you wake up. But, hey, they are going to have an awesome dinner, and it's a $10 a meal, and it will be in a styrofoam container, so you can eat here if you want, or you can take it home and eat where on the park or wherever you would like. But it's pulled uh, pork, pulled chicken, uh, baked beans, chips, and a soda for $10. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. Amen. And so someone has already covered the food, and someone else has donated the meat. And so everything that comes, every ticket you buy, it goes right to sending them to Alabama. So the tickets are at the Welcome Center, or you may see a youth in the foyer selling tickets. Get 20 Get a hundred, get whatever you want, but make sure you at least get one. Amen. Amen. Would you welcome my husband, Pastor Woo! James? Hallelujah. Amen. Woo! Amen. Praise the Lord. And that was a good sermon last Wednesday. <laughs> the best you ever, ever heard. Ever heard. That's right. It was a good one. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Uh, turn with me if you would. No, you don't have to do that. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22. I'll just read it to you. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed that thy field bringeth forth year by year, that thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. Um, tithing is a biblical truth. And either we're tithing or we're heading towards tithing, but you don't want to say, I don't believe in tithing. 
because tithing is an a Old Testament and New Testament revelation for the church. Uh, the thing I've heard many believers say is tithing is under the Levitical law. We're not under the Levitical law. We don't need to tithe. But you have to remember that tithing for the New Testament believer isn't under the Levitical priesthood. It's under the Melchizedek priesthood. It's through Jesus Christ. And so Jesus is our high priest in the order of Melchizedek. And Abraham tithe to Melchizedek and so we tithe in the order of Melchizedek not in the order of the Levitical priesthood so it's New Testament as much as it's Old Testament come on church say amen, amen. so either we're tithers or we're heading for uh, tithing uh, as we get you know everything in our life together uh, we want to make sure that we're giving that good portion to the Lord for the good portion that he gives us we give him 10 percent he allows us to steward 90 percent and um and we just agree with it you just got to get into the to the mindset of i agree with the tithe why because the tithe teaches us how to reverence the lord thy god always it has a purpose in our lives and i know that y'all reverence the lord and so right now i just want you in your heart to say i agree with the tithe the tithe is for me the tithe is for today and uh, what you want is your 90 percent that you're stewarding for god you want that 90 percent to increase and so that your tithe is the key and the ticket to doing just that and so uh, if even if you're not uh, fully tithing yet and you're giving your offerings you just want to in your vision in your faith in your heart to say I'm heading for it I'm getting there everything's lining up in my life and I'm getting there you don't want to be of the mindset of I disagree with it so I'm not gonna do it no there's good scriptural purpose and reason uh, to do it Old Testament and New Testament Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray and let's get ready to prepare our tithe and our offering. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to worship you. Oh, let me tell you, uh, what you'll do is you'll make out your check. I always forget this part. Make out your check. Get the envelope out of the seat in front of you. Put your envelope in your check. Hang on to it. And then at the end of the service, as you're going out, you drop it in the offering bags on your way out. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to worship you, to reverence you with our tithe and with our offering. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving. And I searched the world, but it couldn't fill me. A man's empty praise and treasure that fade are never enough. Then you came along and put me back together. Now satisfied here in your love. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, there's Still. 